There's lots to love about the upgraded Studebaker Avanti in 2024. Luxurious, elegant, and fast, slicing through the air on the Bonneville salt flats at 170 miles per hour. Just a few years before the company would become defunct, Studebaker released a luxury car that would redefine the brand. Just like the Avanti name, the 1963 car was a forward-thinking coupe that combined a relatively lightweight body with powerful engines that turned the Studebaker into a performance car. Nowadays, it's another classic car with a decidedly 60s silhouette, but that fiberglass shell and iconic headlamps still look striking today. The Studebaker Avanti's original design, like a mid-20th century spaceship, was quirky and recognizable, and this exclusive Hot Cars Resta mod is sure to turn heads on the road, courtesy of Hot Cars artist Rostislav Prokop. Rostislav chose to coat the Avanti Resta mod in dark cherry, and from the front the car's unmistakable aerodynamic front gives way to a grille section below the front bumper. This time the grille section gets separated into distinct vents, with side vents that seem to be for cooling the brakes. A front lip further distinguishes this from the 60s car. As this gets based on the 1963 Studebaker Avanti, the lights are circular, aside from a few 1964 Avantis, all examples from the second year came with squared headlamps. The Restamod uses LED units for both the main headlamps and the side lights on the protruding front fins on the leading edges of the front fenders. From the side, that classic silhouette is largely unchanged, with a subtle side skirt and minor changes to the glass house, and from the side you will notice larger, modern white rims clad in whiter rubber than the 60s coupe. Up back, the less is more approach continues, and the curved rear window, small trunk opening and rear lights are relatively unchanged. The lights are also now LED units, this time there is no chrome bumper, however, but that the twin vertical exhaust outlets mimic the chrome supports on the original's rear bumper, and there is a diffuser integrated into the design. Over its tenure, the Studebaker Avanti came with a choice of three power outputs, the R1 had a 4.7-litre V8 with 240 horsepower, and the R2 Paxton supercharged version came with 289 horsepower. An R3 Avanti used a supercharged 5-liter V8 with fuel injection and other modifications for 335 horsepower. Today these cars are the most valuable, as they were also less common. Following the end of Avanti production in 1965, the factory and its parts and tooling got bought to continue producing the car under the Avanti 2 name, and many cars got produced until as late as 2006.